loads better without that shit fun 88 across the front of it. It's a long time coming. I'm going to pan around, spin the camera around, show you the quality, the details of the actual kit. But yeah, it's low as nice. It's not much different from last season. That's the only, only thing I've got with the base. You just reverse this and like made it a like, bit of a diamond here rather than sort of a normal collar line. But that is just transformed. I still wish this. That's a shame. I wish the noon logo was just like a black box with like a yellow noon text inside it. That would look just like so much cleaner than like, this massive yellow patch on the side. But... It brings the money in. It brings the money in. And if that means we can spend more on players, then pff, fine by me. Fine by me. But yeah, this one looks like unbelievable. Finally got rid of it. I think there's a couple more years left on the Castor sponsorship. Let's get Adidas back. Because Adidas is just vastly better, in my opinion. But for now, that's the main thing. Black and white sponsor, no Chinese lettering on it anymore, and it just looks clean. I'll spin the camera around, show you some of the details, the quality, the badging, things like that. You can see it's all stitched. I think we all know now um, how it all works. So basically, the um, the actual men's one that play on the pitch, this is just a stuck-on badge, but for the replica kits that we get to buy from the shops. I don't know if they're going to release the actual main one, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, this is all embroidered, so that is that is definitely a nice detail because the stuck-on badges are just crap. So that's just nice and stitched into it. I like that. We just pulled it a little bit there. Obviously, when they've stitched it, but you can, you can forgive that. There's definitely worse products that Castor's knocked out. That's the logo itself. Don't know how well it'll um, it'll fare because it's quite a soft sort of like plasticky sort of finish. So I think over time it'll it'll definitely sort of, sort of like crease lines and things like that. I mean that's. There's rubbing fingernail over it there and it's always left a little bit of a mark so I don't know how well that will wear but it is quite nice slide it down decent stitch work on the interior you've got sort of cast over detail and just on the inside there they are quite they are quite small fitting but I don't think this I don't think they're stupid I think a lot of people online have been going on about how they, they fit really really uh, tight but I mean this is a small and you know it fit me quite well I'm not a big bloke but um I've had stuff where I've bought small before and it is literally like spray on so i think it's all right which that's just like the tag and stuff like that comes with see so all just sort of heat stamped on a bit of a better look decent stitch where there's not loads of glue marks which is actually like quite nice to be fair my, my background i used to work at uh so retail shops I've seen some absolutely horrible sort of prints. So that's not bad. Like the actual print is pretty good to be fair. So I'll focus on hopefully you can see. Yeah, it's nice and clean. There's not like a massive border on the outside of the, the yellow, it's it's clean. Same on the back here. You've got an UFC. So the back section. Um, one lovely little detail which I really like is down the bottom end. So where the seam is, just a lovely little pop of blue. I think that's just nice. Not too much, but it's just a little bit down there. Which I think is quite nice. Hundred percent polyester, which you know you'd expect. But overall, pretty decent, um, pretty decent kit. I think um, in terms of quality, it's not too bad. There's not loads really on it, so there's not too much to go wrong. But yeah, not bad at all. Any questions? Yeah, uh, drop them below. I'm just trying to do like sort of kind of UFC, NUFC sort of themed videos. And got any suggestions? Let us know. Cheers, guys.